Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. So yeah, on the DOT chart, um, nice reaction again, still to resistance, uh, had a bit of a rally today, but never broke resistance, never made a new high. So from that point of view, we still focus on lower in our C wave of wave Z. Um, had a question here, um, why is a wave five a W, X, Y, X, Z pattern? I'm sure you can count it in a different way. I mean, important is that this is a, a corrective move because the entire move down, and that's maybe what caused confusion. The entire wave five is an ending diagonal. And if the entire wave five, which started in February, is an ending diagonal, each of the sub waves is corrective. Yeah? And you see it very clearly in the third wave, which is a three wave move. The fifth wave looks like a W, X, Y, X, Z pattern. The wave one looks fairly impulsive, but still the subwave structures tell you that something corrective is going on there. Yeah, This is not a five wave move, not an impulse at least. So you can easily count that as um, ABC or W, X, Y pattern. So either way, you know, it, it's not so important. Um, what, what is important is that we have no indication that a low is in place and that it should still go a little lower and that in the Z wave, there's basically the C wave still missing. I mean, this can always extend out and, and go down much lower, right? Um, that's you know what, what we need to understand. But certainly the message that I put out in the last videos was that against the $4.12 level, we focus on lower. So against $4.12, that's the resistance. Yeah, against that level, we focus on lower. And uh, this was again, a potential, potential short trade area trend reversal area to which this B wave reacted and we could now be in a C wave and the C wave that would be a five wave move and I would not rule out that um, dot produced here um, what I would consider a wave one then the wave two pullback and now a third wave of the C wave to the downside then we should see a fourth wave fifth wave and so on to finish this whole thing um, to align it with Bitcoin. It's very much aligned with Bitcoin, this wave count, if it plays out like that. I'm always very careful with micro counting, but this could be a one, two. I'm gonna change the wave degree in a minute. Let's go here to one second. So a bit like that. So if we say in this third wave, yeah, we will also have five waves. So this move down here might now be a wave one. If we see a corrective pullback, could be a wave two, then a third wave of a third wave and so on. And it would carry on to the downside. Therefore, um, the next targets, in my opinion, which make sense, they are probably more down here around the $3.84 level, $3.81, $3.73. They are just some Fibonacci extensions that we need to look at. Um, essentially, until we see an impulse to the upside and a three wave pullback, we cannot say that a low is in place. So we still focus on further downside, to be honest. Yeah, no, no change in narrative, no change in trajectory. So yeah. And um, what else to mention? Not much. Resistance is still the same. Yeah. Obviously, now with the latest spike, we can say that we focus on lower against this wave too high at four dollars and seven. Yeah, that's the relevant level. If that level is broken, then we might need to re um, redo the chart, reevaluate the chart. But at the moment, I don't see that happen. Uh, if it happens, yeah, then we need to look at potentially this B wave to be still in the making and the $4.12 level will be interesting and will be the key level again. But see, at the moment you see how much downside pressure there is, any rally is sold off again. That's my update about DOT. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.